everyone, it's me, Cindy. Cindy Sunshine, Cindy Manic here. It's January 3rd, 2011. It is the new year. Happy new year to everybody. Hope it was a good one for you and looking forward to many good, flowing, blissful, good times with my friends. And yeah, I'm here today to do an experiment. Experiment on how my thoughts, my words, and feelings could affect my life. And we'll be doing that through use of using rice. I made here home cooked jasmine Thai rice. Of course, we have tons of rice here, so might as well use it. And I'm using some jars. I have three mason jars. One, two, three. And this experiment is inspired by Dr. E Dr. Masaru Emoto's experiment on how water and positive thoughts could. I'm sorry, how positive thoughts and feelings and words can affect water, including music. Music can affect water as well. And in his experiment, he would crystallize water after it being uh, surrounded by good thoughts, good words, good music, and the results were really awesome. So with that, and that said, I'm going to be doing my experiment with rice. And he actually mentioned to do this experiment at home, and lots of people have done this experiment on YouTube as well. My mom's watching. <laughs> so, anyways, we're gonna take about a cup of rice. Can you guys see? Take about a cup of rice. Put it into the first jar. Lay on spill. If I do is okay. One cup of rice. Oops. Hopefully my computer is working because sometimes it blacks out for some reason. I don't know why. So here we go. A cup of rice in one jar. That's going to be this is going to be the bad jar. Okay. The second jar. Just put some rice in here. We want good cup of rice. Okay. So the second jar. This is going to be the neutral jar, our control jar, neutral. And then the third jar which would be the positive good jar. Put a cup of rice in this one as well. This is what I do at home sometimes when I'm bored. Do some fun experiments. Alright. And we have about, yeah, we have a cup of rice in each. Actually, this one might need a little more. Should be okay. Okay. So, this one has a cup. Just look pretty even. What do you guys think? Oh, it's pretty even. It looks pretty even to me. So, anyways. What I'm going to do now is to put it closer. Or let me just put it far away. Shoop. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is cover the jars. These jars are nicely been cleaned with boiling water. Some things inside of them. Seal it tight. Okay. Cool. So we got three jars here. Okay. It's a bad jar, neutral jar, and we use this as a good jar. So how I want to do this? I'm gonna use some masking tape. I'm going to label the jars. This is the good jar. Neutral jar will leave alone. This is the bad jar. Okay. So the bad jar, I'm gonna put some bad words on there. 
let's put let's put Can you read that? Ugly and worthless. This jar is ugly and worthless. Neutral jar. This jar will be a good positive jar. We'll put we'll put good words. Thank you and I love you. It's a thank you, I love you jar. Very beautiful, right? So, stop the video for now. I'll show you where I'll put the jars. Joop.